Hey what's going on guys, in this video we are going to see an example on reduction of orders. Here we have a solution provided and this is our differential equation. So whenever we have one of the solution provided, what we have to do is we have to equate this one y2 is equal to uh, v, this is a function of t, we have to multiply that one with the given solution, that's t square. Now our thing is to find out what is this v of t is, okay, that's why we are going to use the reduction of order. Now here the first thing is we have to find out y prime and y double prime. We have the y already that is this one. So we have to find out y prime and y double prime and substitute it in this equation and then solve it. Now y prime is going to be here we have to use the chain rule because v is a function of t and t square. So the chain rule if you apply the chain rule this is going to be t square and v prime plus 2vt. This is not a multiplication. This is a function of t, v is a function of t. So if it's confusing you, just get rid of this. It's like v to square, you just try to remember this is a function of t. That's why when we do the derivative, this is a chain rule. So we will get t square v prime plus 2vt, okay? Now we have to take the second derivative because we have we have second derivative right here. Instead of second derivative, we have to apply this one. Now if you do the second derivative, now both of them are like, this one has two function of t and this one has two function of t. So the chain rule is going to be applied for both of them, right? So we are going to have four things like this. So this is going to be what we are going to have two square v double prime plus two v prime t plus two v times one and then plus two t v prime. So this is going to be the second derivative. Now after we find out this one, we just have to substitute it in this equation and solve this differential equation. Now t square, y double prime is the whole thing. Let's go ahead and plug this one right here. And we have two like terms. We have 2v prime t, 2tv prime t. These two are same thing, right? So we can add them together. This is gonna become 4tv prime. And when you apply in this equation, this is gonna be t square v double prime. And then here 4tv prime, 4tv prime, and we have 2v plus 2v. And the next thing is we have to multiply this 3t with y prime, 3t and y prime we found out that's t square v prime plus 2vt, 2, 2vt, okay that's it. And the next one is minus 8y, instead of y we have to pl plug this vt square, vt square. So whenever you do the direct, I mean reduction of order, this uh, v term, the v power one, should always cancel out. If it's not canceling out, it means something wrong right here. You have to double check this one, okay? Because this one should always cancel out. Now, when we do that, this one definitely going to cancel out. Let's go ahead and see that. So when you multiply this one, you are going to get t power four v double prime, then four t cube v prime, four t cube v prime, and t squared times two v, that's gonna be two t square v, and plus 3t times t square v prime, that's gonna be 3t cube v prime. 3t times 2vt, that's gonna be 6vt square, 6vt square, and minus 8vt square, that's equal to zero. Now let's go ahead and note down which one are the v power one. 6vt square v power one, 8vt square v power one, and we have 2vt square, this is also v power one. So from this one, you can see, if you add these two together, this is plus eight, and here we have minus eight. So this is canceling out. It means this is correct. If it's not canceling out, it's there's something wrong, you have to double check it. Okay, now let's go ahead and add the like terms. We have V double prime only once. So we can just keep this one as it is. And we have V prime here, and V prime here. We can add these two together. In that way we will end up with t power 4 v double prime plus 4 t cube v prime 3 t cube v prime that's going to be 7 t cube v prime that's equal to 0. Now the next thing is to bring this one into standard form we have to divide everything by the highest power I mean the first one. If you divide everything by t power 4 t power 4 this one by t power 4 you will end up with this one v, v double prime and here we will have t cube t cube, not t cube, it's 7 over t because we have one of the t right here in the denominator, 7 over t v prime, that's equal to 0. 
now we have simplified this one okay now the next thing is instead of v double prime we have we are going to like we are going to redu reduce the order R reducing orders like this w is equal to v prime if w is v prime w prime is equal to v double prime now we are going to replace this one these terms with this v double prime and v prime when we do that we will get v double prime is w prime so w prime plus instead of v prime we put w so 7 over t w that's equal to 0 now you can see this uh, separable differential equation because d uh, w prime mean dw by dt and uh, we can separate t and w terms together let's continue right here okay let's use a different color let me take this one down right here okay instead of w prime you can put it as dw by dt in that way you can see i mean clearly see the separable so i move this the other one to the other side it's minus 7 over t w now we have to bring w term one side and t terms to the other side since w dw in the numerator right here we have to bring the w terms this side so this is going to be just w dw and then the other side we have negative 7 over t dt and if you integrate now we have separated this one the next thing is we have to integrate both sides integrate this one integrate this one integration of this one is going to be just w actually w square divided by 2 w square i made a mistake here when i bring the w this goes to the denominator 1 over w and uh, that's going to give us ln not w square so this is going to be just ln of w ln of w is equal to negative 7 is a constant negative 7 ln of t plus we have to add a constant okay let's put c or you can put k1 anything you want okay let's put k1 so here we have e power these things let's try to simplify this one so to get, get rid of this lawn we have to i mean here we have lawn we have to get rid of that one so get rid of this lawn we have to take e power e power both side e power land cancels each other we will get w in this way this one we cannot do in this way we have to move this negative 7 to here and also this constant like when you have multiplication it's equal like when you have addition in the power it means equal to multiplication so you can separate this constant as e power k1 okay and you can also replace the whole thing with k2 e power k1 is equal to k2 so let's put k2 right here so we mentioned e power k1 is equal to k2 so we replace k2 k2 is just a multiplication now e power negative 7 down t we cannot do anything like in this way so we have to move this 7 to the power in that way we will have e power ne t power negative 7 and then e long cancels so we will get w is equal to t power negative 7 okay and we know that w is equal to v prime so we have to do the integration one more time because we have to get rid of this v prime we have to our purpose is to find out what is this v is okay now t minus 7 here now v prime is equal to t power minus 7 and v prime is can be written as dt by actually dv by dt dv by dt is equal to t power minus 7 and from this one you can see and also don't forget another constant k2 k2 and from this one you can see this is a separable differential equation again so we can do the separation and integration when you do the separation here we have dv alone integrate that one and dt go to this side we have k2 t power minus 7 dt integrate that one also if you integrate one one dv that's going to be just v and if you integrate other side you're going to have what uh, one added to the power so that's going to be t power minus 6 divided by negative 6 so we can write that 1 over negative 6 because when you do that you are going to add 1 to the power and divided by that power negative 6 right that's the integration so that's basically k2 over negative 6 so we can say k2 over negative 6 is another constant we can equate it, this one to k3 and we can write this one as k3 t power minus 6 okay and we have to add another constant 
k4 okay so this is our v now we found out v now let's apply in this equation so y2 is equal to this is v v times t square v is k3 t power minus 6 plus k4 k3 t power minus 6 plus k4 this one multiplied by multiplied by t square so if you multiply this one by t square this you are going to get k3 t power minus 4 k4 t square so here one thing to note down this is the given one this is the given one in the question so nothing new here we just multiply that one with the constant so this one is not new this is the new one this is the new solution t power minus 4 is the new solution so finally the general solution of the differential equation is going to be just y is equal to c1 t power minus 4 plus c2 t square and that's how we do the reduction of order i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and if you are trying to learn differential equation there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too and see you next time